quite often we're in the situations where, where we don't know how people will react or what's going to happen and and that it gives this uncomfort feeling but that's how you adjust yourself and uh, how you feel things around and uh, as soon as you have a trust in yourself as soon as you connect with uh, as soon as you're not trying to fake something or pretend then it's going to work I think I always wanted to open up myself in a space where there is no limits, but I was curious about it. And, uh, and then I started to reconsider myself. Like, who, uh, who am I as a mover, as a dancer? What do I do? It's a lot about the process of research rather than a certain moment of arriving. Uh, and it's all I find uh, right now what we do is actually uh, supporting my search in uh, myself, my artistic core. That moment, that kind of flow we get into when uh, I'm just listening to your footwork and constantly thinking like how, how, can I, mm, how can I respond accordingly with a certain chain of, of processing that creates a sound from this that, that would make sense with this rhythm. And, and vice versa, your perception of the material under your feet changes because there's all of a sudden a different sound response to it. everything going on in, in, in physical space, you're responding to it, you're looking at each other, you're, you're sensing vi vibrations through everything because you're sitting next to each other on the same floor. Um, so this, this becomes a, a very multi-sensory combination of, um, of imp improvised thought. That idea of focusing on the process of not being perfect, of not presenting a and a nice, well-prepared image, but showing the weakness, showing the vulnerability, showing the what's behind. That's what what is contemporary, you know. What is actual for me in in the way I see the world and see myself through this world. <laughs> 